Let's take a look at some muzzle handling now. And I can use my chin rest here to help just help my dog understand just to stabilize the muzzle and then use my other hand to start moving to touch the muzzle. Okay. So the chin rest, good. Move my finger towards, but I didn't touch her. I moved it to the point where I thought she could hold still. Good. And then I mark and reach for the cookie. Good. Haven't touched her yet, so this is in the fourth repetition now. Good. Good. So we're getting to be able to move closer and closer to touching the muzzle. Now if I don't have a chin rest, I can just reach, good, and touch. Okay. But I want, I really, really want, good, my dog to be relatively still. So the chin rest is going to help a lot with that. If my dog's moving her head around, and you could see her starting to do this when I don't have the chin rest, she's moving towards my hand because she thinks she ought to be doing something. So if I, if I stabilize first, good. I can do a lot more with muzzle handling than if I just approach like this, good. I can still do it, but I'm getting more movement. Okay. So much of this depends on how far along you are with your chin rest. But this step of muzzle handling, just on the outside, good. Can you move your hand all around the outside of the muzzle? Right. Top sides, with your dog holding relatively still. So I'm gonna switch hands here. Good. I'm not, I don't wanna be holding her mouth shut. I'm just touching with a very, very light pressure right now. Good. All around the muzzle. All right, so that's the next step that I want to be able to get to, is muzzle handling.